That first evening in New York, I sauntered down Broadway alone as I dreamt of seeing, flashing in lights, my name, Noel Coward. As an actor, playwright, songwriter, singer, and director, Noel Coward will become the most talented entertainer of all time. He was a sensation. I went on the stage when I was 10, so I didn't have any formal education, which, of course, left me free to educate myself. I'm mad about the boy. By the age of 30, he was the highest paid writer in the world. But mad dogs and English one go out to the midday, out to the midday, out to the midday, out to the midday, out to the midday. Frank Sinatra said, if you want to hear how songs should be sung, go see Noel Coward. I was trained when I was very young as a show off. I have continued triumphantly until this moment. <laughs> he was a rebel and a patriot who dared to be queer in a very straight world. The criminal law in this matter is to preserve public order and decency. We're neither of us free to love each other. There's too much in the way. The long cigarette hair and the red silk dressing gown. No, it was carpet slippers and baked beans. To see Noel Coward come on, the audience went nuts. No coward molded the spirit of a nation. So why did this astonishing man end his life exiled from the country he came to define? Critics said this was strong moving and an experience in the theater. I'd rather it was a good play. This is his remarkable story. What is the word for when one has terrific, prolific uh, qualities? Talent. Yeah. About the boy.